Okay, let's do something stupid. Not entirely stupid so far, but not entirely clever either. I didn't actually expect that to work, but somehow we came out on top. And since we have three ants, we're gonna stack them on top of each other. I'm gonna throw an otter down to hopefully boost the ant. Then we're gonna throw a swan for now because it has better stats. You we might save for next turn because we can get double mosquito. As strange as it sounds, I really like this lineup so far. It has an otter. And I really like them for giving me the sense of confidence that doesn't actually carry me anywhere into the game. But we already took out one of them, so I think we're in pretty good shape here. Wow, that's a really strong fish. I'll take a tie though. I was gonna say I maybe shouldn't have used all these mosquitoes, but it's giving us three of them anyway, so I'm just gonna throw them together. So already we have two level twos with decent stats. The center is not that strong, but the mosquito will do two damage before the battle even starts. And that can actually eliminate something entirely depending on what it hits. Hopefully the kangaroo. Can we get him? Nope. We hit two different things, but I think we're going to be okay because we're going to take them out. Nope, we are not going to be okay. Should have hit the kangaroo. Luckily I can stack up a swan. I'm maybe going to save the fish for just a second to hopefully get something better. But there's another swan and we can red pill something already. I'm going to freeze the fish because I can get it to level 2 next turn and then suddenly I have 4 level 2s already. Uh, for now I am going to eliminate you and put a turtle there. We're going to save one of the pills and roll that because we are going to replace the turtle with something different. But we can already have a swan with melon armor, so that's actually going to go a long ways for us. This could be a really annoying build to fight, just because of their summoning power. But you're going to get two hits, so we're going to win. Okay, first things first, let's execute a turtle. Your sacrifice will be already forgotten. Then if I buy two fish, hopefully it'll spawn in something to fill the gap. A parrot's not bad, but it's not going to fill a gap for now. Its stats are actually not bad. I might end up using that. Or throwing a giraffe in to potentially just sit behind a swan and feed it which is probably going to be more my style. We will hold the parrot for now because it is a 6-3 right from the get-go and it copies the ability of the idiot ahead of it. Really what I want is a penguin now because it would boost everything, but I'll settle for upgrading my swan for now because it's pretty strong. And I think this battle is going to go our way, though they did strip the melon armor off a little bit quicker than I would have liked. So I'll settle for a draw. Now I'm going to use this excess fortune from the swan to find not really much of anything I want. Um, I'll maybe throw that on you and that on you for now, just to be a little bit annoying. We'll even give you a little boost. This one moves up to 8 and 8, and hopefully this helps him survive. Nope, but that's okay, because you're going to kill you for sure. You're going to kill not the penguin, and we're going to keep rolling. You're going to be a problem as well, and it's another draw. But I'll probably be saying that for every turn for quite a while. A hippo wouldn't be a bad addition right now, if we could stack it up to a higher level. But there's the penguin I need, so... We're just going to straight up get rid of the giraffe. Now the penguin's going to boost everyone. So everything here is going to get really strong. The swan is the most likely thing to stay for the longest. So we're going to upgrade it as much as we can right now. A dolphin is tempting too. We'll take a dolphin over you. But there we go. Everyone gets a plus one, plus one. So we're going to start scaling pretty hard right now. Going to eliminate the fish. Uh, so far, so good. That's not great though. At least it wasn't a honey badger. Another draw. So I think instead of the mosquito, I can have the three up front scaling for now. We're maybe going to put a dolphin back there. We're going to give the dolphin armor. That way if we run into something like we just did, it's maybe not quite so bad. There is another parrot should we want to do that. But we're just going to upgrade future idiots. I'm just going to give a boost to the swan probably to hopefully get me an actual win. We need more wins. Oh, plus this dolphin will hopefully, yeah, take out one of their idiots straight away. That was a really strong bison, so that didn't do my team any favors at all. Another draw. But we're going to continue on our scaling ways. Maybe if we get you up to level 3, that'll somehow do something to help us. We could do it right now. We're going to save that chocolate though to maybe level up the dolphin. I'm going to give up on that dream for now. We do also have a monkey, which could help boost the swan. So we're just going to go for straight up scaling right now. Because that swan can get very strong, there's another monkey piece. So the swan's going to start scaling very hard after this turn. And this might actually be enough to kind of uh, carry us through. It's not the most exciting or original build, but we're already in trouble. Okay, I might have been a little behind the ball on my scaling strategy. Well, whatever. Let's just go ahead and double down. You're going to get uh, this one a lot stronger. And you're going to make this one stronger. It's kind of tempting to throw something else down. Because the fish is easy to replace still. But I wouldn't do it with a mammoth. I need something better. And we definitely didn't find anything better. So let's just get a level 3 swan then. A leopard might work. Plus, we're going to have lots of money. So the swan's now climbed up to 2626, but we are in round 10. So that's not really as strong as it was a while ago. But my odds against this team aren't too bad. We're going to take out you. Uh, this boar on the end is kind of a mean choice for them to do, because he can basically plow through me like that. 
But I, if anyone, can appreciate a good boar. Luckily, I have 13 gold to spend, so I can go like that. We're going to replace the fish with a leopard. Then we can hopefully get the leopard some love as well. Like with this. Right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. You're going to stay there, and we're going to roll a few times. And the leopard's now going to do at least 9 damage to one idiot to start the uh, fight. Which may or may not be great. There was a time when a scaling build like this would have absolutely destroyed everything. Well, we killed the dodo, but that was uh, after he helped the other guy. But I'll take that. That was a lesser team. Our third win. Wow, look at that. The game just wants me to be rich. So we're just going to eat one of those right away, just in case we find something amusing. Which we haven't yet. A penguin upgrade would be just fine, though. Would like another leopard piece, though. Apparently that's not in the cards, however. So we're going to go there. A snake would be fun, too, right there. Yeah, this is going to be risky, but we're going to do it. Snake behind the swan. As long as the swan gets a few shots in, that might make a difference. Then there's our piece for our next leopard. So if we survive this turn, we'll actually suddenly be a lot more powerful. But that is a pretty big ask, considering the state of my team. Though we do have a 40-40 swan with a snake behind it, so that should help us in a way. We do damage initially. Okay, the swan just lost big from the stupid skunk, so we're in trouble. Uh, we actually had a draw. We love draws today. So there's a level 2 leopard. There's a... Uh, oh, we should have done this first, huh? Well, there's a level 2 penguin, so everyone's going to get a boost now. We're going to give more to the leopard because he's going to do a lot of damage for us. With my last three gold, we're just going to go like this. We landed on the leopard, so that's fine. So the leopard's now going to do uh, tw uh, 12 damage twice before the battle even starts, which, uh, well, helped. It's, you know, not optimal, but we actually won this one. Great. Every time we had the leopard, good things happen. I think I'm going to add a stake to the snake. That way it's just going to obliterate whatever happens to run into it. Now I just got to hope for some good parts. Another leopard piece is nice. And then we're going to give you some uh, melon armor as well because you're going to do 24 damage when you hit something. That's lots. Then we're going to get the big boost across the way. Oh, I should have put the leopard up front. That's the other thing I was going to do. Kind of forgot about that because our swan frankly doesn't need the help. I think we're actually going to one shot you though, aren't we? Oh, okay. This is a... I dismissed that entirely, but we won, so great. Okay, we're going to swap the leopard up here because you're going to get a plus six boost. That's going to be extra damage. We're going to throw down some pizza that hit the wrong things. We're going to throw down some more pizza that also hit the wrong things. Okay, let's just throw some melon armor on the monkey. And um, oh, that would be great for a level three leopard. But we'll wait and see if we uh, win this one. The leopard's going to get a nice hearty boost, though. So it's going to do 17 damage to two creatures before the battle even starts, which actually is really good on a fight like this. Uh, because we're going to tear through those, and then my swan goes to work, and the dolphin dies. Now, the leopard's going to do 50% damage to three random enemies before the battle starts. And we're going to see about potentially upgrading a snake. Might also just have to add melon armor to the penguin, just to give us a little more bite. Actually, we, if we give a cupcake to you, that's going to give you a nice boost, at least temporarily. Now you're going to do 23 damage to three things before the match even starts, so that's really going to drain some health. I was really hoping we were going to take out that badger, though. Because that badger is going to hit very hard once it dies. But I still have most of my team left. I don't know what I just built, but it's very functional. So let's melon armor the penguin for some toughness. Uh, we should maybe melon armor the snake, because I'm a little worried about you dying instantly. My whole team is melon armor, but we do get to upgrade the snake now. And we could actually probably put the snake here, because any skunks or anything are going to hit the swan anyway. I didn't think this through, but that'll probably be fine. He does 50 damage, so he's going to do 25 to three different things. We're doing 75 damage before the battle even starts. Oh, they also have a strong leopard. Hmm. Well... That's still a win for us somehow. I don't know what happened, but we're doing it. I don't really know what to buy at this point. Because I pretty much have all the pieces I'm, I'm, I'm committed to keeping till the end. Uh, you're already doing max damage. You're a 50-50. I guess we can upgrade the snake a little bit. That's not going to hurt anything. We'll throw the salad down. I think I'm pretty much just going to have to ride this team till the end. Uh, one way or another, that's just simply what it is. But this little lineup hasn't let me down yet. So hopefully they're not about to start. Should probably throw something else up front now just to get the proper boost from the monkey. Or get rid of the monkey because we don't really need a boosting anything. That's a lot of 50-50s. We did take out a lot of their team though. We took the melon armor off you, which is great. Um, We actually drawed that. Cool. This is going to sound weird, but I might actually remove the monkey. I just don't really know what I'd replace it with to make it so functional to start. Maybe a fly? There is two flies. 
Because we don't really need to boost that anymore and it would just replace everyone with a... Uh... Yeah, we can never level whatever flies, so let's try that. This... Mm, I don't know about this. But I just gotta do something. I just realized we're at round 19. I think I've only ever been to round 20 once in this game mode. But okay, we're gonna start summoning flies. Out we go with big damage. Doing a big mess to everyone. And we're gonna have those flies giving us a little extra support to take melon armor off. So you're gonna trade, but out comes the fly. We just won round 19. So do we try and make the fly level 3 or the snake? We do have one piece of the snake. Let's try the fly. It's gonna be more uh, valuable to us if we can. There's the second piece. Come on, one more piece. Oh, we should have melon armor on you maybe too. All right, well, melon armor on the fly. Can we win round 20 though? I think this is only the second time I've ever been here and I can promise you the last time I was here, I didn't win. Kind of like our odds here because we just took up all their melon armor so easily, which is a great part of the leopard. There goes you, then you're going to attack, and you're going to attack, you're going to attack, and then we win. We won in round 20. I did not think that was ever going to be possible for me. That was on my first game today. It's also fun because we started out basically losing or drawing every fight until we were out of lives, then we won everything. I've got a particularly good feeling about the glistering eggplants. I've already got a level 2 otter which boosted the fish. There's a flamingo that's going to uh, upgrade those two and then there's a mosquito. But I suspect the strength of the fish alone should be enough to uh, work my way through most of the team if not all of the team. Well close enough but as you can see we're ahead. Add to that a nice little swan already and we're definitely starting to get some -er. I'm even going to uh, simply just go like that. You're going to do some damage and the fish gets a little upgrade. Now I just need to not be stupid and actually build a proper team. So we'll see how this goes. So far so good. At this point I don't know if I should be swapping the mosquito out for something different. I suppose it's not really going to make a big difference. We do have 11 coins so let's give something to the fish to make sure he's staying happy and one of those. Basically I'm pretty much just going to go all in on the fish for now except for when I get an otter who boosts the fish anyway. I really like this fish so far. He's one of my favorite fish I've ever had. It would be nice to get him some garlic armor or something because he is susceptible to damage still. The rest of the team is strong enough to be able to cover though. And it would be nice to have something like a honey badger instead of a mosquito. So thank you game, you've heard me. Honey badger on the rear, that's going to make me that much harder to kill. And boosted the flamingo. And that's actually okay. Because now it's at least going to do 10 damage before dying. That's plenty of damage. And we got garlic armor for the fish next turn. And almost to level the otter already. He's going to give a big boost to someone when he gets the opportunity to. Yeah, this might work out okay this time. Another victory for us. I didn't even get to the honey badger and that was victory 5. So garlic armor for you. I might actually consider upgrading the flamingo. I don't know what level whatever flamingo does really. Well, let's try it for now just because we can. Uh, I didn't also see the fish. The fish is going to boost everyone else momentarily. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's see if we can actually win a battle. I forgot to check how much uh, boost the flamingo is going to give once it dies. Uh, plus two, plus two to two different uh, units it looked like, which is actually pretty good. Oh good, they have a honey badger. No, they don't have a honey badger, but they had a badger. Okay, I've definitely got some of the pieces I want right now. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is hopefully get a red pill. Uh, well, we're kind of running out of time to make that all work. So what we're going to do is upgrade the otter fully. He's going to give the badger a boost. Uh, then I'm maybe going to just go like that, and he's going to boost everyone. Then we got a monkey too, so we're going to eliminate the swan because he's only level one. We're going to do something weird like that. You're going to boost hmm, something like that. Probably not going to upgrade the fish anymore. Probably going to keep you though, just in case. We don't need any more otters. Actually, the otter could be replaced though. Or we could throw a bison into scale too. Oh yeah, we could monkey bison scale. Yep, we're going to do that. Uh, this is actually going to be a really good team. It's already a pretty good team, but it's going to be a lot better of a team. Because you're going to take out you, you're going to fight to the death, and they didn't get the honey badger. Okay, we're going to go like this. You're going to give your two boost, but then we're going to put you up front, so you're going to get boosted from many different things. The monkey's going to boost you, the level 3 otter is going to give you some life as well. So we'll give you one of those. We're not going to do the draft anymore because we don't need it for scaling. We will give some garlic armor to him next turn. And there's nothing else there we really want. But you're going to get plus 5, plus 5 every turn at least. So for this turn, well he's actually carrying his weight, but then the fish is going to finish everything off in a big hurry. Is that victory number seven already? This is maybe going to be a perfect run without any dying. 
even though I completely just jinxed myself. But since it's giving me everything I need, we're just going to keep going on the ox. I am going to throw him because I might replace the honey badger with a crocodile. I could see that being pretty useful this early on. All right, so the ox is up to 2020. He surpassed the fish already. So we got an ox fish combination. They have a mammoth already. Impressive. That's a lot of melon armor too. Uh, I, mm, yeah, that's a shame the way that played out. We lost to a bumblebee. That's our only loss so far. Definitely feel like a crocodile would be better. Especially if we upgrade them just a little bit like that and then go like that. A few more spins and... Okay, we can get an upgraded monkey to further boost the ox. So you get another plus five. You're up to 27, 27. Plus we got an alligator who's going to salvo whatever's at the back. A penguin. Which helps. That eliminated one of their idiots for sure. Hmm, this is a pretty strong team too though. I didn't expect to run into things this strong so suddenly. Not to worry, Monkey gets a nice upgrade. Then you get melon armor. Oh, that's so tempting to put behind you. I'm going to hold on to you for a second when I think about that. I could also eliminate the crocodile for the snake. So we'll see how this turn plays out before I do that. Because you're up to 35-35 with melon armor. The crocodile is so good for potentially eliminating things like that. The skunk does most of its damage before the battle even starts. And they're using a snake strategy on me. We went from the perfect run to this. Okay, here's what we're going to do instead. You're going away, and you're going away. Desperate times call for desperate measures. So now we're going to have the snake attacking twice after the bison attacks. Um, then we're also going to upgrade the bison, and we'll see if this works. This is one of those extraordinarily high-risk, high-reward type plays. So we'll see how this goes. So every time the bison attacks, there's going to be 10 damage coming out behind. That's going to definitely do some damage to other things. Which tends to be cruel and unfair, but I'm okay with that. And speaking of which, I could probably also about eliminate the otter right now because this thing's already kind of where it needs to be. So if we can find something else useful to throw down, maybe like a skunk because that's going to strip off a lot of health or a fly. We're going to throw down a fly. So we're going to get rid of you. You're going to be 47, 47 anyway. Uh, and then they're going to have a fly to contend with, a level 2 fly. If I was lucky, it would have been a level 3 fly. But we're not that lucky, so we'll just go like that, and there we go. The bison's up to 50-50. Oh, I forgot he was level 2. So will we get away with this? Then we launch a salvo with them. We launch a salvo with them. Another salvo going out. Out comes the fly to strip off your armor. The snake attacks. Yeah, this is going to work out kind of nicely, I think. Trophy number 9. Uh, So the monkey is basically feeding no one at this point. Alligator wouldn't be the worst thing in the world too. I could swap out the monkey for an alligator to get a stronger push for this turn. Yeah, let's go super high risk on this one. Even higher than before somehow. And just go with that. And then, I don't know. Maybe that. Should have put this stake down instead. Eh, yeah, that's fine. We basically won anyway. Or so I think. I really hope that alligator hits something important. Oh, that's kind of an intimidating team. Uh, we're actually going to be okay with this because of that snake. Okay, we just won. With a really, really weird team. But we did it.